Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do some four star attacks. So I put together a nice four star team here. This is quickly becoming my favorite four star team. And I normally have waddles in that number five position, but when you get up to this level where you're taking on teams that look like this, 2,800 cups, uh, it's a little more, you know, you got to have a little bit more firepower. So you're going to need a five star hero here. I like Calervo in this position. I don't really use him on my five star teams, so I can leave him on this team and he does exactly what I need him to do. He hits a little bit harder than Waddles. He's like two Waddles firing at the same time. So that's the little extra umph that we need. You know, my troops are good. Um, you really have to work on your troops. This game you're not going to be able to compete at the cheap to play level if you're not working on your troops. It's just not possible. Let's do this. Got to get some heroes charged here. Isn't bad. I think this will be okay. All right, we're not dead. So, we didn't need to get a heal going here. We're close. That might have done it. Dang it. Let's see if we can still pull this one out. Ah, we lost Calervo. Well, let's see what we can do. All right, we're actually doing okay. Let's see if we can get her to not revive. Stop reviving. All right, now we actually just need her to hit us. <laughs> I don't know, she dispels us. I don't want that. She doesn't, Sartana doesn't really do enough damage to, to hurt Cyprian. She does do enough damage to kill herself, so that's what we're trying to do here. No, dang it. Okay, good. She hits a brain. See, she doesn't barely scratch him. Good. We got her down. Now we're just going to have to end this with tiles, I think. Let's figure out how to do this. Wait, she does dispel last, doesn't she? She is, yeah, she's taking damage from that, so that's good. That means 
can keep doing this. Wow, we lost Ferent and Calervo early on this, and we still did just fine. Well, I don't know about just fine. We won. Where are the matches here? At least she can't heal herself. Stupid minions don't help, but there we go. All right. Yeah, I think this will work just fine. Let's see. Do this and get our darks together there. This and try and do that again. Ah, oh, shit, Cyprian, dang it. All right. Let's get this up. All right, now let's cleanse and then put our counterattack up. And now let's see if we can get Dark Lord to kill himself. Nice. Yeah, let's do this. Good, she's almost dead. Now we've got some ghosting space. Let Zandrella kill herself. Mm, yeah, we have to have this up here. Get some heal ready. All right, now what we're going to do is wait for Gillen Bursty to fire so that we can cleanse him. Might as well do this. And mm, I don't think Gillen Bursty is going to matter here. Let's cleanse. Hit them. And now we just need to get some tiles together here, and this one's over. All right. This team's holding up pretty well. You can see Calervo. I probably would be doing fine with Waddles in there right now.
So Mist is not our best hero for this. We although they she does have dodge, which Mist will stop that. But so will Waddles, and I want to go heavy on Mindless. Let's do this. That. Yes. Okay. Let's see. I can get through that dodge. Nice. Okay, so it's probably best to wait a minute. He's okay. We'll do this so that we can get our darks. That was a good hit there. All right, so they've got the dodge is gone now. And we can heal, put up the other half of our shields. We got a mindless attack over here. Where are we going to throw tiles? Probably. Mm, kind of like, I don't want to have to deal with uh, the dodge again. So let's hit her. Oh, of course, we hit bubbles. Already got mindless attack. Let's do this. Ooh, that hurt. Does he dispel? Oh, his when he hits a dark hero, that is undispellable, and that may that means that it can't be reflected. So that's why I did end up with the counter with the mindless attack on me there. All right, see we did reflect the blind from Head of Furies there. There's altogether too much green on this board. Nice. Okay. Now we can do this. Let's try to give him a shot. Got him. Let's hit you. 
you get mindless attack, and you get mindless attack. Yeah, we'll do that so we can get yellows. Bubbles hit himself. He's just going to run himself into the ground over there. Yeah, let's do this. Nice. We'll do this. Just keep the mindless attack up. Oh, man, a shield, all right. Okay, well, at this point now, we just need to do some serious damage. I think I should have taken Annabelle. Alright, there's a method to this madness, madness, trust me. And we'll go ahead and do that. Oh, we've got to get rid of that healer. Two minutes. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Two minutes left, we're good. All right. I wasn't worried about that at all. All right, so... You've seen this four-star team in action now. Let's look at them. So the principle here is, <clears throat> I prefer Annabelle here. Kitty is really good if you're dealing with mindless attack coming at you, but I don't know. I think Annabelle actually would have been better on the last, um, the last one. So yeah, um, the, the double counter attack, really allows those five-star hitters to just kill themselves. That's what this team really relies on. And the crazy thing is, normally I have two healers, but with this team, Cyprian is 
so incredibly durable that he just doesn't need another healer. And the heroes that I usually lose are over here. Once I level up another Cyprian, honestly, the best thing to do would be to put Cyprian here and here. If you make, if, if you have costume two of Cyprian and you level up 12 of him <laughs> and you put two of him on each of your team with an Annabelle or a Kitty and just throw in whatever hitters you have, a bunch of waddles would be fine. You're, it's sort of a cheat code, honestly, for this game. And, you know, you're probably not going to be able to take on a team like this, but, you know, you, short of the meta, you're going to be extremely competitive. Let's, I don't know, let's see what this can do. All right, this is an interesting way to go about this, but we did not set him off. And so now we can do this and this. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> oh, they can't be. They're immune to status ailments right now. See, this is where this team gets in trouble. These meta heroes, they have so many parts of their specials that they really... Can survive a lot. Um, well, we might as well fire Clervo here and see. Yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to. I recorded a couple of battles earlier, so. I'll add those on to the end of this and you'll uh, you'll be able to see the idea here. It's similar teams with Waddles or Clairvo and um, Ferent in there. And yeah, I'll probably just put in some music and let you watch some battles. But the idea here is that in that in those four stars, you've got some of the most important skills, which are reflect, mindless attack, and counterattack. And then, of course, you've got your basic skills like healing and damage, but damage is honestly, it's the thing that's lacking the most in, in four-star heroes. Even, um, let's, let's jump out of here and go into, stop the offers. Um, Sun, so she is incredibly powerful as a damage as a defense down. So minus forty four percent with a further minus four percent decrease every time they are hit for three turns. So when you put her together with um, I'm going to show you the team here. Where did I have that team? Right here. So if you put her here on an anti-minion team and go like this with her, the minions are going to keep hitting. Which actually that's beneficial for Cyprian. That's why we have Cyprian there. But 
So you would normally want Annabelle and then Annabelle's probably all the way down here. Let's see if we do have a four star minion generating um I don't know where Annabelle went. So here we would want... I don't know if we have any good minion generators. Could go like this. Flip them, swap them around. So the sun was all the way back up here. I think Annabelle's up here too. There, something like that. That's an interesting team right there. So you've got a ton of dispel between these two, and he he's a decent hit. So if you can get his minions out there, <clears throat> then they will both remove the um, buffs and also rapidly increase that defense down. So they'll end up with, I think, minus 67%, something like that. I like putting Guan Yu on this team here instead because he bypasses minions. So when you're going up against a minion team, you can, um, once these are charged, if he happens to be charged already, then you can go ahead and fire him anyways. You don't have to wait. And then when you fire Grimble, he'll recharge again. And they'll have that probably a minus 70% defense. And Guan Yu hits really hard. So I just pair him with someone like Stain Tongue. I know these are heroes that are getting away from that four-star realm. <clears throat> but if you have heroes like... Let's see, I was free to play. See, I was never cheap to play. I was free to play for a long time. And so I did not have any five star. I didn't have a, very many. I had a couple season one five stars that are now sitting here. And I, for some reason, had blues. So she is actually her. So on this team, I would go like this, which he is actually him. I just haven't done their costumes. So with something like this, which is still season one's, she does, she's going to get charged by Grimble. So, and Grimble was in both the Faded Summon and the Soul Exchange. So hopefully you grab Grimble. So with a team like this, you're going to... This is going. This is an incredible team because she has minus forty four percent defense down and hits all and does a lot of damage. So and she's a season one. So hopefully you've been able to get her, and then she'll charge from Grimble. Their their minions will be gone. You can hit all here, and if you have someone better than Magni, then you know throw in another hit all. If you if you have Tao Tao, and you hit with Tao Tao after Isarnia. That's close to one-shotting their whole team. Uh, Master Lepus would be really good. Even Richard, he's a hit three. And after the defense down, he hits really hard. So, But when, you, when you're doing an anti-minion team with Grimble, these don't need to be in the same color. So if you have another great hero to put here would be, um, what is her name? Justice. We do have her somewhere down here. So, because even though they're slow, they're both going to charge from Grimble. So, you just work on your darks, and if you happen to, to get 
blues or yellows, you can use them. But once your darks are, are ready to go, you fire, wipe off their minions as an anti-minion team specifically. So you can maneuver this team around. If you're going, if you're not going against a minion team, you simply remove Grimble and then swap these around with what you were looking at before. So you can put in uh, Mist is great. She has tremendous. She gives you tremendous control over the enemy team. Or <clears throat> um, Brynhild is really good here too. If you're going against a team that has Dispel on it. Li Zhu is really good. That silence. Don't put Li Zhu with um, Mindless Attack because the Mindless Attack will just sit there while they're in silence and then it'll fade off. So there you go. There's another four star video for today. And like I said, I'll attach those other videos to the end and hopefully give you something interesting to watch. So have a good one. Post your questions, and if you want to see anything specifically in the four stars, just let me know, and I'll put something together and show you.